It has happened again. Another disturbing dog discovery, this time in Turlock. Over six dozen dogs found living in horrible and inhumane conditions. The person responsible on the run tonight. CBS 13's Hunter Sowards is with us in studio with what we know about who they're looking for tonight, Hunter. Yeah, guys, they need the public's help. The suspect, Jorge Ayala, is wanted for allegations of animal abuse and dog fighting. It's an investigation that actually started early last month. It led to the discovery of 73 dogs found in filthy and deplorable conditions. The video we're showing you, it is hard to see. It's the moments those animals were found. Dozens of crates stacked on top of each other. You can see the puppies there. Just happy to see people. Dirty rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms. That's where these crates were found. Some with up to six puppies inside. No food, water, or a place to use the bathroom. Rooms like this were located in three different properties on South First Street in Turlock. We're talking three different homes. It was a delivery driver that called Animal Services when they saw a puppy tethered outside one of those homes. They just knew something wasn't right. That's when authorities uncovered yet another case of shocking animal abuse. Multiple dogs in multiple crates that are meant for a single, you know, small size dog. So as you can imagine, the smell, the the filth was just unbelievable. Um, no picture or video can do it justice of how just inhumane this house was. I wanna show you a photo of the man they're looking for. This is 46 year old Jorge Ayala. They don't know where he is. That's why they're asking for the public, if you know him, if you've seen him, to please contact Turlock Police. Some of the dogs they found were pregnant. All were pit bull mixes. This is now the third case of animal abuse in Stanislaus County where dogs have been taken in from similar conditions. Late last month, 86 dogs were found at a home in Ceres. A child, an elderly woman, also rescued. Conditions here so bleak, oxygen levels were low from the amount of urine soaked into the floors. This was on Hollister Street. Dogs were pulled from floorboards and walls days after they were found. Now three people were arrested for animal cruelty charges here, but roughly two weeks before that, 38 chihuahuas were rescued from a different hoarding situation, also in series. Those unsanitary conditions pushing the shelter over capacity as they had to take more dogs in. Stanislaus County sending out a dire message tonight. They need people to adopt these pets. They're offering deals now free until April 7th, but guys, they were already at capacity. Right. Now they're in a very dire situation.